let us say this point hello friends welcome back hearty welcome to you let us look at this problem related to coordinate geometry and quadrilaterals cat 2023 question the area of the quadrilateral bounded by the y axis line x equals to 5 and the lines mod of x minus y minus mod of x minus 5 equals to 2 is the area of the quadrilateral bounded by the y axis line x equals to 5 let us draw line e x equals to 5 and y axis and the lines mod of x minus y minus mod of x minus 5 equals to 2 since we are taking the line x equals to 5 as one of the boundary mod of x minus 5 will be minus of x minus 5 that will be equals to 5 minus x because we need only the x values which are less than or equal to 5 so mod of x minus 5 will become minus of x minus 5 which is equals to 5 minus x so now we have two scenarios with respect to x and y if x is greater than or equals to y mod of x minus y will be x minus y if x is less than y mod of x minus y will be equals to minus of x minus y that is y minus x so we have two scenarios for the lines if x is greater than or equals to y and we know that x is less than 5 in this scenario the equation of the line will be mod of x minus y that is x minus y minus of mod of x minus 5 that is 5 minus x simplify that equals to 2 simplify that we will get 2x minus y equals to 7 that is one line we are getting the second scenario is where x is less than y and x is less than 5 in this scenario the line will become mod of x minus y is y minus x minus of mod of x minus 5 is 5 minus x so we will have x and x cancel out and we will get y equals to 7 so now we have to calculate the area of the quadrilateral bounded by y equals to y equals to 7 y axis that is x equals to 0 x equals to 5 and 2x minus y equals to 7 so let us draw the graph of this then we will see mostly will form a trapezium we know how to calculate the area of a trapezium before that let us plot 2x minus y equals to 7 suppose y equals to 0 x will be 7 by 2 so one point will be 3.5 comma 0 and x equals to 0 y is minus 7 so we have 0 comma minus 7 and also when x equals to 5 we have 10 minus y is 7 that means y equals to 3 so we have 3.5 comma 0 we have 5 comma 3 and we have 0 comma minus 7 now let us plot the points that means we give coordinates to all of these points which we need so that we can calculate the area of the quadrilateral 5 comma 7 where x equals to 5 and y equals to 7 intersect and where y axis and y equals to 7 intersect you have 0 comma 7 and where the line 2x minus y equals to 7 intersects y axis you have 0 comma minus 7 so the area of the quadrilateral what we need to find out we can see that it is a trapezium we have x equals to 5 x equals to 0 y equals to 7 and 2x minus y equals to 7 so let us shade the region for which we need to calculate the area and we know that in vertical line the distance between two points is difference of y coordinates and in horizontal line the distance between two points is difference of their x coordinates in vertical line difference of y coordinates in horizontal line difference of x coordinates so we have a trapezium for which the height is 0 comma 7 5 comma 7 the distance between them is 5 units and the distance between 5 3 5 7 is 4 units because it's a vertical line and the distance between 0 comma 7 and 0 comma minus 7 is 14 units 
it is again a vertical line so the difference of y coordinates so let us give the values we have height as 5 one of the parallel side is 4 another parallel side is 14 Let's calculate the area of this trapezium which is given by half into sum of parallel sides into height. That is half into height is 5 multiply with sum of parallel sides that is 4 plus 14. Simplify that we will have half into 18 into 5 that is 9 into 5 45 square units. So, the area of the quadrilateral bounded by the y axis line x equals to 5 and the lines mod of x minus y minus mod of x minus 5 equals to 2 which we obtained as two lines one is 2x minus y equals to 7 and the another one y equals to 7. Now, these four lines we are getting area as 45 square units.